Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15 and today I'm going to be introducing you to Photos for Class, a wonderful online tool that helps you to find age appropriate images for all different types of school projects, school presentations, educational purposes, whatever you need for your class and it's a great location to find a safe image database that you can use for your classes, for your instruction, whatever it is that you need, where you can download them properly, make sure you attribute them properly, make sure that you have a Creative Commons location, and everything else. What you're looking at right now is the Photos for Class homepage. And for those of you who may be familiar with Storyboard That, this is actually created by the folks from Storyboard That. You can also view some of their new products along the lines of Quick Rubric and Photos for Work and other things along those lines. Just to show you a little bit of information about Photos for Class, they have an actual section here on automatic citation. They tell you about it in their read more section. They let you know how we cite. We as librarians, and of course my background is in library science, they're making sure that every image is giving credit where it is due. And every image tells you what the image is, the author, the name of the photo, the link to the original photo, and the name and the type of the license. They tell you why we cite, why it's the law, how it is the law, and also the types of licenses. So all of the images are age appropriate, which is excellent for school. And you also have Creative Commons. And so to the best of their knowledge, everything is licensed, but they also give you the opportunity to report if you find something that is not. So let's say, for instance, I am looking for information or pictures to do for a presentation on basketball, just because it's easy to search. And at this point, I can look at images for anything that I'm interested in. Now, this does have students, people, pictures, whatever I might be looking for. And let's say I want this picture of a team. I click, I can view it on Flickr if I wish. I can also download. And when I click on download, it's going to give me the download. And then I have the image. I have the basketball image, Flickr, attribution, non-commercial, and who it is photoed and the photo attribution and buy. And so I have all my links and information. If I am doing, let's say, a piece on the Civil War, I can find photos, I can search, I can look. I've got lots of different information issues, both historical as well as up to date, statues and everything in between. And you can search including even the band, the Civil Wars. And so you've got all different things that you can search, you can look, you can look through, and it still is the same. I click download and then I get my image, I get my attribution, I get my common license, as well as everything that goes with that picture. So this is letting our students have a safe place to search for pictures, as well as making sure they are cited properly, as well as making sure that they are download safe, and making sure that we have information that our students can use with a database that is safe for them to search, for the most part, as far as we know, making sure that they are safe to search, they know how to cite, teaching them to cite their images, as well as making sure that they have a place that is user-friendly, intuitive, simple, easy to use, free of ads, so forth, and everything else. Hope you enjoy this site. Hopefully it is a useful tool to you. I know I have found it to be so. Keep an eye on Tech 15. We'll have more videos for you coming soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.